deliverance. It's in His name that we do what we do for Him. It's not in my name, not in your name, but it's in Jesus' name. This morning, if you need prayer, we're going to sing that second verse. I want you to claim that as you're coming. Jesus, in your name, I'm praying. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Today. Come and take away the pain. Yeah. Come and take away, give me deliverance, give me healing. Yeah. Let it be done. Jesus said, if we ask, we shall receive. That's what he said. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. As we sing that, come forward if you need prayer this morning. Oh, in Jesus, in your name.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory. Can we just sing one more chorus in that same key? I know it's not up here, but I think everybody knows it. Cause he touched me. Jesus in a bar. I guess you just can't fall too far. I was pouring whiskey in an empty bar when I met Jesus in a bar. Man or angel, son of God, he did not tell me who he was, but I knew. Place. I saw heaven in his face and couldn't move. We sat there for hours. I could feel the grace and power. And I said things I've never told a soul. I asked for forgiveness. He said, I've already done this. Don't you know? Jesus in a bar. I guess you just can't fall too far. I was born whiskey in an empty heart. When I met Jesus in a bar. Start 
started crying in my hands And when I looked up again He was gone Then I walked the hallway home For the first time knowing I was not alone Some meet him on the highway Some meet him on a Sunday On the back row of the church I can only tell you my way Was in a place where people go to hurt Jesus in a bar I guess you just can't fall too far I was pouring whiskey in an empty heart When I met Jesus in a bar I was pouring whiskey in an empty heart When I met Jesus in a bar. <coughs> well, I hope that blew your mind. And if anybody is religious and got offended, I'm sorry about that. But you know that Jesus goes places you and I won't go. That's right. He's not religious. Right. He's Jesus. Yeah. He's salvation. He's deliverance. See, this is what's at the heart of missions. Going places that maybe, you know, we feel like we don't want to go or, 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 or maybe nobody should go. Well, let me tell you, that is the place where the Holy Spirit goes. Amen. That's the place where Jesus wants to meet people. In a bar. Hey, if, you have a, if you're a recovering alcoholic, don't go witness <coughs> in a bar. You might, might have a problem there. But other than that, there are places that, that the Word of God is being preached all over the world Hallelujah. right now. Whether we realize it or not, and maybe <coughs> we don't see it in our little corner of the world, but Jesus is saving people by the multiplied thousands on a daily basis. Hallelujah. And what we are doing is reaching this world for the kingdom of God. Not just us. There are missionaries going out from other nations of the world. Korean missionaries are coming to America. I said, send them on. Yeah. Maybe they can fill up our churches again. <coughs> yeah. We need a move of God here. And so we make it possible in our missions giving to see that people come to Jesus there and Jesus will make people come here. We will see people born again into the kingdom of God right here in this place because we are faithful to believe and understand what God is doing. Now, I want to thank you so much for your giving. I want to thank you that it's, uh, this church has a great reputation for being a, a missions-minded church, and that means we've got a, a vision that is global. We've got a, a, a world-class vision. Some people see their world is very narrow. That's four and no more. Mm -hmm. That's all they can think about. Well, we need to branch out from that. <laughs> we're not going to be selfish, but instead what we're going to do is have a world-class vision that enables us to see that even right here from Winchester or Stevenson, where is Stevenson exactly? I've, Keep looking for the city hall and everything, and I hadn't found. There is a, a post office. I'm glad about that. It's pretty close to our house. But uh, as far as I might run for mayor of Stevenson. Yeah. I don't know that it pays anything. No. I think you might have to pay to get it. I don't know. But the point of it is, is that we may think we're insignificant, but we are not insignificant in the eyes of God. We are not insignificant in what God has called us to do. This church has that kind of a reputation because that's what your faith has done in years past. And I believe we will continue to go in that direction, to be able to move forward, to be able to see God do great and mighty things, not just on the other side of the world, but right here where we live, yeah. right in our own backyard. This is where the Lord wants to do 
mighty things. Now, we sponsor 11 different missionaries from this church. I'm supposed to see a list, but I don't have the list. When do you want the package handed out? Matt? When I finish? Oh, that might not ever happen. We, we've got some various uh, aspects. We're going to be handing out a packet to you in just a little bit and contained within that packet with some information. You're going to find a faith commitment card. You may have signed one in the past uh, for a particular missionary, a particular mission. Uh, some, of, uh, some, some of them have changed, by the way. Some of the people uh, that we have in the past supported are now home off of the field. And there are others that, that maybe we didn't see their pictures this morning, but yet our church has picked them up and is carrying them. And uh, we, we believe later on this year we're going to be able to, to see God help us to become a part of a very great ministry called, called Mission Catalyst. And there it goes. At least I got you on my video. Yeah. Mission Catalyst. And Mission Catalyst is a ministry that is literally bringing hundreds of thousands of people to the Lord in a not very long amount of time. By beginning churches in places that we might not go to. You know what? If a bar offers us a place to have a church, well, let's have a church at a bar. Mm. Wherever we can go and bring light and the gospel, those are the places that we want to go so with 11 missionaries, and you'll see that list, five ministries of the WM's department of the IPHC. And one of those is people to people. So I'm going to ask Deb to come up here and holler real loud. Pick up the oh, microphone. He's working again. All right. Check, check. Well, I, check. I always wanted to say that. Here. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, speak to you just a moment. I know, you know, you've, you've heard the, the story and the routine every year, and you're familiar with these uh, ministries, I think, by now. But uh, I want to give you just a little bird's eye view of, of one of the ministries of the people to people, and that is the child sponsorships. Uh, I know uh, several of you sponsor one. Some, some of you sponsor as many as four children. And... Praise God for that. Uh, you can sponsor a child for 83 cents a day or $25 a month. And I chose to talk about this because I've seen this firsthand. Uh, I was a, a young woman and... Uh, I, you are a young woman. <laughs> I was. And I am. Praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was, I was privileged to serve in, in India with uh, two veteran missionaries, Hubert and Marguerite Howard. And uh, a big part of, or at least a part of their ministry there was sponsorships for children. And uh, I was able to help in that area. And I can't begin to tell you what it means to these children. It, one of my jobs, I, I was doing accounting, but one of my jobs at Christmas was to wrap pencil boxes for children. Now, I mean, that was their Christmas present. But I wrapped 500 pencil boxes that had pencils and an eraser and, I, I don't know, maybe a couple of pencils. But to them, that was monumental. And we saw the letters that came from home. And then the, the caretakers, some of them were, were at uh, orphanages, and some of them just were being assisted to, to be able to have education. But they would respond and, and do the letters and stuff, and then they, the missionaries would translate for them. I'm just saying that these children, regardless of what country they're from, they are, they are definitely in need. <laughs> and... This is it's a life-changing thing. This this means that that a child, if if they are blessed to be able to be sponsored, will have education where others may not. And that makes all the difference in the world. And it also means that they will have a greater 
opportunity in the future to become leaders. We have seen so many leaders come up in India from, from those schools and orphanages that the Howards sponsored them and others in the, in the U.S. sponsored. Took them under their wing and raised them up to be leaders today. They're pastors uh, all over now. It's just wonderful. I mean, I know them personally now. It's just, it's one of the girls is named Debbie. Yeah, when, when, uh, I have a namesake in India. <laughs> she was born right when I got there. So, um, it's, it, and she married a pastor. So, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing what God does when we think it's such a little thing, but it's not. Uh, and I know Pastor's going to be speaking about that. And I want to say one more thing about another area um, of ministry that is the widow's might. And uh, along with that, some of, some of you were sponsoring this. Uh, that's for widows in, in India, uh, pastor's wives, where the pastors have passed on and then their, life, their wives are left with, with nothing because they don't have programs and they don't have retirement and all that. Um, and so this, this is just a way to help them live. They've given their lives. And we talk about sacrifice. It's on a whole different level in these countries, what people do to sacrifice, to, to bring the gospel. So thank you for your...